I'm Laurie Thomas with the University of Kentucky Forestry and Natural Resources Extension, and I'm here with the tree of the week, the Carolina Silverbell. Carolina Silverbell, Halesia Carolina, is a beautiful small deciduous tree to large shrub. It is also called mountain silverbell, snowdrop tree, or possum wood. It is in the Halesia genus that's made up of four to five species that are found in Eastern Asia and Eastern North America. Carolina silverbell typically is considered an understory tree that grows about 20 to 40 feet tall and about 5 to 12 inches in diameter. However, in the southern Appalachian Mountains, it reaches its greatest size with some trees as tall as 100 feet. It is, has a moderate to slow growth rate and lives only to about 100 years. This lovely tree has a rounded pyramidal or vase-shaped habit and it makes an attractive ornamental landscape tree where it pairs well with azaleas or if it's planted against a background of large evergreens. Carolina Silverbell has a relatively small native range in the southeastern part of the United States, from West Virginia to Florida to eastern Oklahoma. It can be found in far southeastern Kentucky, south central Kentucky, and in small areas in western Kentucky. It grows mostly along streams or on, in ravines on slopes and in coves in moist acidic soils that have a high organic matter content. It's typically an understory tree and therefore considered shade tolerant. If planting in the landscape, it does best in a collection of trees as it needs light shade. Carolina silverbell is relatively pest free unless planted off site in higher pH soils with droughty conditions. Carolina silverbell is deciduous with alternately arranged leaves. The leaves are simple in form and ovate in shape. The leaves are usually about three to six inches long with finely serrated margins. They're dark green above and pale and somewhat pubescent below. Fall color is yellowish and leaves tend to drop early. The flowers are very showy and trees are monoecious, meaning a tree has both male and female flowers. They are four petaled and bell shaped and they're usually in groups of four to five. They're three fourths to one inch long and on drooping stalks. They bloom as the leaves are starting to expand in early spring between March and May, depending on location. The showy blossoms are best viewed from below and the flowers are insect pollinated, particularly by bees. The fruit is a distinctive oblong four winged droop. The green droop is typically one and a half to two inches long. It ripens in autumn and dries to brown. The seeds are dispersed over winter by wind, and trees produce large crops of seeds annually, starting at about 25 years of age, but many of those seeds are sterile. Carolina silverbell can be propagated by root and green wood cuttings. The bark is thin, reddish to grayish brown, with white stripes that form a sort of diamond shape on young trees. As the tree ages, the bark develops ridges and furrows that look as if they will peel. The wood is soft and close-grained, and the sapwood is white or creamy, and the light cherry-colored heartwood is often streaked with white. Since the tree typically has a relatively small diameter, the wood is used mostly for crafts such as carving and turning. Carolina silverbell flowers attract hummingbirds as well as butterflies and bees. The buds and flower clusters are eaten by a variety of birds, and squirrels eat the seeds. It is a host plant for numerous lepidopteran, including the Promethea moth, the eastern tiger swallowtail and the morning cloak, the eastern comma, the red spotted purple, and the viceroy, our state butterfly. Carolina silverbell wood is used for woodcrafting, such as turning and carving, and bees are one of its primary pollinators, and within its native range, it can be an important honey plant. Reportedly, Eastern Tennessee beekeepers speak highly of the tree. Carolina silverbell is best known for its ornamental qualities, its heavy crop of white bell-shaped flowers in the spring, and its small to medium growth habit make it a favorite. It works well in border plantings in combination with low-growing shrubs such as azaleas and rhododendrons, and since the blooms are best seen from below, the tree should be in an accessible location. The national champion Carolina Silverbell, as of 2021, is in Cheshire, New Hampshire.
It's 129 inches in circumference, 68 feet tall, with a 66 foot crown spread. There is currently no Kentucky champion listed. If you'd like to know more about champion trees, check out American Forest National Champion Trees or check out the Kentucky Division of Forestry Champion Trees. Now for a few fun facts about Carolina Silverbell. Carolina Silverbell was first introduced into cultivation in 1756. The genus was named Helegia for Stephen Hales, an English clergyman that made major contributions in the fields of botany, pneumatic chemistry, and physiology. Native Americans, including the Cherokee, used the wood for building. And this tree has numerous cultivars, including crushed velvet, which has wavy leaves, rosy ridge, which has pink flowers, and Yukon wedding bells, which is known for its large flowers. I'm glad you joined me to learn about this beautiful tree and get the opportunity to get out into your woodland, local park, or neighborhood and enjoy our beautiful native trees, or get the chance to plant a native tree in your own landscape.